Go play another Lost 45 from Bill Wars Hot 100. Sourcing out Bill Wars Hot 100, April 29th, 1961, at number 66, up seven notches from 73. What a Lost 45. Lovely record. What a nice voice. Janie Grant, the song called Triangle, her real name, Rosemarie Casilli. I believe that's how you pronounce her last name, C-A-S-I-L-L-I. -L -L she was from New Jersey, and uh, by the time she was about 15, 16 years old, she was doing some songwriting. She wrote a song about a three-sided love affair based on personal experience. The song was called Triangle. She got a break. Somebody introduced her to a guy named Jerry Granahan. Jerry Granahan was an up-and-coming singer-songwriter. He ran a record label called Caprice. Caprice record label. She auditioned for Jerry Granahan. Granahan listened to her and said, You're on. You're on my label. I like your voice. I like your songwriting ability. Come on in. And before Rosemarie knew it, she was recording at the Regent Sound Studios. Recording her big hit, Triangle, 1961. However, Rosemarie Casilli, her name was too long. It's not. A, it's, this is not a showbiz name. Not unless you're an opera singer, maybe a comedian, but not a pop singer. DJs like me, we like the we like simple names. We like the, something that's easy to pronounce. Therefore. They went through a dictionary, or they went through, through the alphabet, and they came up with Janie Grant. Triangle. Went to number 29 on Billboard's Hot 100. 13 weeks. But the song, God, I love it. The song that she did that I really liked was not a hit. It was not a big hit. 1962, maybe 61. Remember the song Greasy Kid Stuff? <laughs> I love it. I know all these songs. So when I think of Jane Grant, I don't even think of Triangle. I think of Greasy Kid stuff. That was, that obviously was not a hit record, but I love it. Well, anyway, here's Jane Grant with Triangle from Billboard's Hot 100, the week of April 29, 1961.